In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter in the medium to dark contour kit shade. I'm really excited. If you're excited, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Jen Steen, aka A Jungle Naps. And if this is the first time you're seeing my face, go ahead and subscribe if you like beauty videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we're gonna be delving into this new contour kit from Urban Decay. And I'm really excited that they're making a contour kit for us brown girls. Now, um, we're gonna see if this is appropriate for someone of my skin tone. And you might be looking at me and being like, damn girl, like why you look so pasty right now? What's going on? Well, I'm currently <laughs> in the middle of testing out some new face makeup. You'll see a video on that coming up very soon. So that's what's going on on the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we can test out some of the shades. Now, this is what the actual packaging of the contour kit looks like. Now, when I open the powder side, this is what it looks like. You've got a nice mirror, side mirror here, very convenient for traveling. You've got a pearly illuminator. We've got a light correcting powder, and then the two darkest shades here for contouring. Then, when you flip the mirror over, you get some cream shades here. So we're gonna be using the cream shades first and then applying the powder over that. So really quickly, I wanna let you guys know that this little contour kit actually retails for $45. If you're watching this right when I upload, it is supposed to launch in May 2017 which is really great, but of course, you wanna know if it's gonna be worth your coins, if it's worth shelling out that $45, because uh, that's pretty expensive, you know? So let's go ahead and get on to this application. I'm going to apply the darkest contour shade. Ooh, this is very, 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 very dark, guys. A little bit too dark for me, but I can make it work. I actually had to go ahead and switch to a smaller brush so that I could apply it. Okay, so let's see if this blends out nicely with my e.l.f. blending brush. Okay, so first things first. Now, this dark little bronzer here, when I went to go blend it out, it does blend kind of patchy. You'll see I'm kind of missing some spots with the cream bronzer, and that's because when I went to go ahead and move it around, the product doesn't, it kind of looks patchy, it doesn't move around evenly, if that makes sense. So some parts look more bronzed than other parts of my face. Here's what this side looks like. It definitely looks patchy here. Tried to blend it out, but it just, it's not really the best. For example, the Anastasia Contra Kit, the cream one, in my opinion, is a lot better than that cream shade. Now, maybe we can save this by adding the actual powder on top of it to kind of correct some of this stuff. So first off, I'm gonna start with the lightest contour shade in the palette. So, I mean, the powder is all right. I can still see some patchiness. It just doesn't look amazing. So, um, yeah, I think that this little shade right here was the best contour shade for me, but in my opinion, if your contour looks patchy, it's just not bomb. And I don't think it was the brushes because I use those brushes all the time whenever I do my makeup and they've never yielded those kinds of results. Now, moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the cream contour of the highlight so we can go ahead and see what that looks like in person. Looks nice on my finger. Okay, 
Now we're gonna go ahead and set that with the actual powder version. Ooh. Okay, that's really pigmented. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay, we smoothed some of it out just a little bit. Word of caution, guys. Uh, go in with a light hand. But the good thing is it can be blended out. Okay, so thoughts on the highlighter. The cream highlighter is just meh. In my opinion, when you blend it out with your fingers, it just doesn't blend as effortlessly as some of the ones I've used in the past. And for this whole thing being $45, it's gotta be good. It's gotta be bum. It's gotta make me look beat and flawless. You know what I mean? Also, the actual powder highlight I do really like. It has more of a yellowy tone that I'm used to using, but I like that if you put too much on, you can definitely blend it out. And uh, as long as you have a light touch, it doesn't look crazy, alien, baby kind of, you know, highlight. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll do some swatches of the other shades and then I'll talk to you guys about what I really think about this whole little contour kit. All right guys, so I am back with my face fully complete. Now, although my makeup doesn't look bad, does it look as awesome as it normally does or could be? No, that's the answer. I think that this contour kit is workable. Do I think it's actually worth the $45 price? Nah, -uh, I don't think so. <laughs> now I did post some swatches on my Instagram story. If you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and put it on the side over here. Um, you know, here's here's my thing. I just think if you're somebody that is really trying to spend their coins wisely, this is something you can kind of skip out on, you know? Um, as you can see, I'm really not happy with the way my contour looks up here. I think it normally looks a lot better and having used that, I really just didn't like how the cream contour shade was not as blendable and it's so strange because it's so smooth when you go ahead and do a swatch with your fingers it feels so creamy but when you take a brush to it it's just patchy and i spent a lot of time trying to fix it and it's just not not as good as it normally is you know my contour just looks too harsh and it wasn't that i didn't use the right colors it was just the way that the product actually blend out, unfortunately. Now, I think that the actual color correctors will perform really nicely. I usually personally don't use uh, color correctors like that on my makeup routine, so I personally just decided that I was going to use this in the capacity that I normally would, so I could give you guys a fair review, and I wanted to give you guys more of a realistic review. I will say that they do feel really creamy. It's not really worth the coins, unfortunately, what you guys gonna do, but I love hearing your guys' opinions down in the comments section. So please let me know if you would buy this or not. And if you have, let me know how you feel about this product in the comment section. Don't forget to go ahead and check out my beauty reviews playlist. I do have some pretty cool reviews in there, some things that I think could be helpful to you guys. So don't forget to click on that. And I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.